Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the one thing that makes a narcissist want to destroy you. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. This one thing makes a narcissist want to destroy you. Initially, the narcissist will try to manipulate and control you. But when they can't control you, this lack of control makes them want to destroy you. They may not destroy you immediately, but they will try to hurt you as a means of regaining their control. Because when they can't manipulate you, they get very frustrated. So that is when things become very unpleasant because narcissists thrive on control. They manipulate you in order to maintain their own self-esteem by keeping you trapped. But when you see through it and you're no longer able to be controlled, they will want to destroy you. And they may achieve this through the use of a smear campaign where they will spread lies and rumors to control how other people see you. Because they can no longer manipulate you and they no longer have access to you. So now they have to settle for people who they can manipulate, people who they do have access to, which typically won't be people who would have been targeted as a source of supply. But they will be people who they view as foolish and gullible, people who they expect to believe their lies. They're very good at finding people who do not use critical thinking or discernment so that they can twist the truth and destroy your character because they want people to see you in a particular way, which is why people will view you as though you're not a good person because the narcissist has already planted seeds in these people's minds. They've already created a situation in which this is certain to happen and develop by causing people to have the inkling of a certain idea, thought or feeling. And because many people these days are highly suggestible and do not use critical thinking, they run with it. They accept it, start to use it and develop it th further, often independently of the narcissist, because they've already got these ideas in their minds. The narcissist has planted these seeds so that you look worse. And they do this because they're very insecure, so they're seeking control. They want the power to influence and direct people's behavior and the course of events so that it puts them in a leading and dominant position where they will feel powerful and successful. And then no one thinks to blame them, which is very childish and immature. And it reveals that they must have a lot of time on their hands if they are able to play these games. They are motivated by their own evil intentions to where they want to betray you as someone who is bad, corrupt and evil while placing themselves in the leading position because their image and reputation is very important to them. So if yours is lost and destroyed, it amuses them. When a narcissist can no longer control you, they will gaslight you. They will change your perception of reality. They will lie to you. They will betray you and they will blame you for everything until you start to feel like you're losing your mind and it can be very confusing because you may never have thought that way before. You may never have thought of yourself in that way. But they infiltrated your life and distorted the way that you see things until you began to doubt yourself because it affected your confidence. And now you may, be, uh, you may feel like a shell of who you used to be. 
while they're denying the things that they said and did, and they're blaming you for their actions, because they want to make you feel like you're at fault, which is why they will isolate you from your friends and family, because they don't want anyone to give you a different perspective on what is happening. They want to be your only source of influence so that they can control your perceptions. They want to hide the abuse because they know that what they're doing is wrong. But they don't feel any remorse. They don't care. As long as they're getting what they need, they will keep abusing you. They will continue doing whatever serves them. And they will try to discourage you from being around your friends or family. Because they feel like they have the right to decide how you spend your time. They don't want you to be around people who might otherwise like you. Because they want to stop you from having a good time. So that all of the attention isn't taken away from them. Which is why they will isolate you to regain their control. And while they're isolating you, they may, may give you affection and approval as another means of control. They use emotions as tools. And they give in and withdraw in their emotions to keep you hooked. So that you're always walking on eggshells. And you're very careful not to offend or upset them because you can't understand why they're behaving the way that they do. And you can't predict what they're going to do next because it all depends on their emotional state and their emotions are very unstable, which is why it is impossible to connect to them because who you thought you were connecting to a moment ago no longer exists because now they're experiencing different emotions and it trauma bonds you to them. It makes it very difficult for you to get over them because you weren't given any closure. So it's difficult to understand what has happened, which is exactly how they want it to be because they want to keep you off balance. They want to trap you into something that you never agreed to by gradually changing the conditions over time so that it distorts your sense of self and renders your control over your emotions to them, which means that you will never have a healthy relationship with them because they don't want you to govern yourself. And they don't want you to govern yourself because they don't want you to move forward. They want to keep you stuck because that's the only way they can control you by preventing you from aggressing and moving on so that you don't understand yourself. The narcissist does not want a relationship. They want to control you. They want you to do everything that they want you to do because they don't know how to have a relationship. They don't know how to bond with another person. They are playing out dynamics that they experienced in their childhood and that is what they're bringing to the relationship. Because they grew up in dynamics where they were never accepted for who they are. Where they had to do what was demanded by their parents. They had to fight for approval and validation. But now they want to be on the other end of it. Where instead they make someone else do that. Because that's what their parents did to them. They don't know any other way to have a relationship. And there's nothing we can do to help them relate better to other people. They were taught this way in their childhood and now they have fixed behavioural patterns as a result of the abuse and trauma that they suffered in their childhood to where they've now built up these defence mechanisms to prevent that from happening ever again because they've learned that people will take any given opportunity to harm them which has created a fake sub substitute ego also known as the false self which causes them to want to harm other people because their brain circuits became miswired during, during development to where that has now become their way of getting validation and recognition and they will never give anything back. It will always be one-sided because they have an external locus of control. 
They don't believe they can change their situation through their own efforts. Because they couldn't change the abusive dynamic in their childhood. They had nowhere to go. Which is why they now have the tendency to blame outside forces for their circumstances. And they feel frequently hopeless and powerless in the face of difficult situations. Which is why they now want you to give them the validation and meet their needs. But no matter what you give to them or do for them, it will never be enough. Because they have unmet emotional needs from childhood. Which means that you can't make a relationship work with a narcissist. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.